Hey, how is everybody today? What day is it? It is Wednesday, June 24, 2015. And I'm Joy. And I'm here at my house that has the fast internet in it. I'm not going to make a bunch of videos, but I haven't done it because I've been sort of sick. I, I was going to make some, well actually I did make some, but when I played them back and looked at myself, I thought, dear Lord, I look like I should be buried. <laughs> So, I'm feeling a little better today. I went to the doctor on Monday and she told me I had a sinus infection. She said my head was full of water. So, no wonder. I've been so dingy lately. But, um, I've been on an antibiotic now since Monday and I'm feeling a lot better. And hopefully I can get through a video without coughing and losing my voice. So, anyway, what am I doing? I'm waiting for my husband to get here today. I haven't seen him for a week. I haven't seen my doggies or my kitties. I don't care about the kitties, but I miss my dogs terrible. That little one, Josie, she is Jerry's favorite. And he spoils her so rotten. I am going to have to majorly discipline her when she gets here. Oh, goodness. He, he doesn't know the word no. He and Terry, my friend Terry, they don't know that word no. I mean, you think... For a dog, they could at least say no, but no, not Jerry. Anyway, I'm excited. I'm glad he likes the dog. I really am, especially since we have two of them. So, what have I been doing? Oh my goodness, I made the funnest bracelets. Um, I watch a lot of how to, uh, how to make different kinds of jewelry videos. I watch them on the internet, and there's thousands of them. Some of you have said, we want to see how you make jewelry and see your jewelry. Go to the internet and search how to make beaded bracelets, how to make beaded necklaces, how to make beaded jewelry, how to make jewelry, how to make wire wrap jewelry, whatever you're interested in, and so many videos will come up. There's a lady called Gina. There's a lady called Gina, G-I-N-A, and she has Gina's gems. There's another lady that's from Poland or somewhere, and her name is Gianna. G-I-A-N-N-A, -N -N -A, and she kind of says it like Jana. But both of them have lots and lots of really nice projects that they do. Then there's also Beta Hall Leak, and um, they do a lot of simple projects. Uh, that's how I learned to do a lot of what I know how to do now. So anyway, another lady named Jill Wiseman had this project on, I think I told you guys last week, and it was called Daydreamer. And she calls it a rope. But it takes me about 30 minutes to make one inch of this rope. So instead of me making a necklace, I decided to make bracelets. And I'll post pictures of it. I've taken some pictures of it. But I just love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. It's my favorite thing I've ever made. I think it is so cute. And you probably can't see it real good, but I'll show you pictures of it. And then, um, Jill Wiseman showed how to do the Daydreamer rope, and she was making long 24-inch necklaces with hers, but she did not show how to make any earrings with it. And since I mostly wear bracelets and earrings, I had to make earrings to match mine. So, I made red earrings to match the red one and I made these earrings to match the denim colored one so I love those I'm gonna send her pictures of them she always wants to see what we make from her videos. so I thought I'd show her the earrings so people could make those too it must be hot in here my face is sweating anyway I started to make a new blouse after I got pinky done on her uh, inside pole and I had all kinds of issues with it I was trying to use a butterick pattern um, that hat was kind of a sailor looking top with a double collar and it gave me fits. I worked on it for hours and hours and hours and it still didn't fit right so I watered it up all in a ball and threw it away and decided to make a quilt instead. Because Terry, she's done two quilts this week. Since I've been gone, I'm not even there and she's been in my sewing room and she's quilted two quilts and bound them. And so now I want to do one. So I'm working on this coffee cup one. It has panels. It had a big panel of 16 coffee cups. I had to cut them all out into 5-inch squares. So see, I have 16 5-inch squares of these coffee cups, and they are so cute. And so I got those all cut out, and I have all the fabric. It was a kit. 
So I've got the background and the binding and the sashing and the borders and everything. So I'm working on that. I want to try to get it done. So when I get back home, I'll have a quilt to put on the long arm. So I don't just have to stand there and watch Terry make a, one or two quilts every week. <laughs> it's unbelievable. <laughs> Anyhow, what else did I need to tell you? <laughs> I don't know what's going on other than that. Um, my little uh, granddaughter, uh, Lindy, is enrolling in college today. How fun is that? And I had saved some money for her for when she went to college someday. And so she texted me and said, Grandma, these books are a fortune. Can I have my college money? <laughs> and I said, it will cost you one big hug. She said, no problem. <laughs> so I don't know when I'll get my one big hug, but I hope it's real soon. Anyway, look at my shirt. Oh, my goodness. I need one of those roly-poly sticky things now. As I've got fuzz all over me from these coffee cups. Anyway, I've got to go. I've got to cut out a whole bunch of two and three quarter inch squares because this pattern, let me see if I can show you. Well, I need to turn the air on. This is the hottest room in this house. Every time I come in here, I start sweating. It's like this. So it's like a star uh, around every coffee cup. So anyway, I want to get started and get it done. So that's all for today, and I'll stick this in the computer and get it uploaded to YouTube so you can see it, okay? You guys have a really nice week and weekend. Bye for now.